Today, we're talking about the principle of the thing. Yes. Detention for you. You should know better. Alright, I've made two Baldi's Basics videos so far and in them we learned that my boy Baldi is not a bad guy and that my friend Playtime is not annoying. But you know what? I'm not done yet, because there's one more character that I want to talk about. He's the one that keeps taking you to detention and this guy is pretty annoying. He's the principal of the thing. But this dude has some skeletons in his closet and we're gonna uncover everything today. Hey, I'm Nico and here are 6 reasons why the principal of the thing is not a principal. There's just something off about the principal of the thing. You know, as his name implies, he's the principal. So, you know, he's the headmaster of that weird school you're attending. And if you take 15 seconds and make a quick search online of what a principal looks like, you'll end up with photos like these. Or these. Or maybe this one. You see a pattern? Well, principal actually have to follow some sort of dress code to show that they're professional people. They usually wear a shirt, some professional looking pants, sometimes even a tie. I mean, that makes them look formal and professional. Now, let's take a look at our principal of all the thing. Uh, he wears a dark grey shirt and blue jeans and... He doesn't even look that old, he actually looks like a guy in his mid-twenties, so... You know, there's no way this guy spent enough time at any school to be a principal. I think this guy is a fraud just by looking at him. But don't worry, okay? It's not about the looks, I have way more evidence to prove my point. So... As the principal, you're supposed to be the one that makes up the rules that students have to follow. These rules are usually written in the agenda given to students when they start off their school year. Now, you know, let's take a look at the rules our principal of the thing wrote down for us. On a wall of the school and not in the agenda. Whatever, okay? No running. Okay, this one makes sense. No entering faculty. Okay, I guess. No bullying. Well, that's a given. Everyone knows bullying is never right. No drinking? What does that even mean? Like, no drinking alcohol? Or, you know, no drinking soda, no water, no milk, no nothing? What if I'm thirsty? I can't relieve my thirst with a fresh glass of water? That's ridiculous, no? Ha, <sighs> anyways, let's move on. No escaping detention. Why do you have to write that down? I mean, it's detention, you're not supposed to leave, you can't leave, there's usually somebody looking at you, you can't leave like that. Eh, whatever. No fourth wall breaks. Well, okay, this one is just a funny easter egg, I suppose, so let's just, you know, ignore it. My point is, his rules are pretty weak, they're pretty basic, they're even kinda dumb. It looks like it took him about a minute to find those six rules and he wrote them down and without thinking, that's it, that was the rules of his school. I mean, there are far more important rules to obey, you could at least take more time to think about them, principal, don't you think? So, that rule about not escaping the detention room, doesn't it sound kinda dumb? I mean, I hope you guys never went to detention in your life, but usually during detention, there's some teacher or there's an adult there that's here to check the students and make sure they're doing what they're supposed to do and, you know, not leaving or whatever. Well, when the principal of the thing brings you to the detention room, he just walks away and leaves instantly. And I mean, look around at this detention room, there's no teacher to check on you. I mean, instead of making a rule saying, no escaping detention, why not hire a professional to make sure students are not trying to escape detention? Uh, anyways, who cares about this room? I mean, look at that, there's no chair to sit on and do your homework, so why bother? Just, just escape detention at this point. Alright, speaking of escaping this useless detention room, 
Do you know the best way of doing so? By grabbing the detention room keys that the principal of the thing leaves out in the open in the various rooms in the school. Uh, I don't know about you guys, but when I go out, I bring my keys with me and I have them on myself at all time. I don't leave them on various desks everywhere. And I mean, this is not what a professional principal would do. Those keys are the keys of the detention room. You're not supposed to leave them around on various offices all around the school. He should have them in his pocket of his, you know, jacket. But I mean, look at him, he's not wearing any jacket, not even pants, he's wearing jeans and a sweatshirt. Ah, uh, that... Uh, this guy's not a professional, this guy's not a principal, this guy is just a fraud, it's obvious, guys. One of the rules on the board is no running. And that's actually the one rule I agree with here, cause running in the halls can be quite dangerous. I've seen students bonking in other students while running while I was at school before. And trust me, it looks painful. Well, let's take a look at the principle of the thing here. Look how fast he's moving. Why is he catching up to you that easily? Well, simply put, because he is running in the hallways. Can you believe it? This guy breaks his very own rules. How can you teach children to follow school rules if you break them yourself? No wonder students in this school are all over the place. With a supposed principle like this, what's the actual point of following the rules? I guess this explains why there are so many bullies in that school. With a principle like this, it's chaos. Everyone does what they want. Jeez. One of the most important thing a teacher and a principal should do is to cheer you up to become a better person. And as we saw in the Baldi is not a bad guy video, every time you succeed at answering Baldi's questions, he congratulates you by telling you, wow, you exist. Okay, this is a weird way of putting it, but basically he's glad you answered correctly and he's positive that you are gonna become a great human being. Well, what does the principal of the thing do when he sends you in detention? Do you think he explains what you did wrong and how you can improve yourself for future? Well, have a listen for yourself. You should know better. When will you learn? Your parents will hear about this one. Those things are devastating to hear as a kid. And this is the kind of thing that could traumatize you. Like, you did something bad, okay? And you're now even getting talked down after being put in detention? Come on, man, Th that's mean enough. This is so sad. This principal of the thing should get fired on the spot. He's truly not a good principal. He's truly not a good human being. And, you know, he he's the meanie here. He's the true bad guy of the Baldi's Basics universe. Well, that's it. Now you know the true nature of the principle of the thing. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? Be sure to tell me in the comment section down below. And if you haven't checked them out yet, make sure to tap the cards on screen right now to check out the videos I made about Baldi and about Playtime. Thanks a lot for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.